Hi everyone, uh, here we are looking at uh, Sparky Studio, a new version, version uh, 84. Uh, and in this version, actually, uh, Sparky added an option to easily create an eye color changer filter uh, very easily. Uh, so when you launch Sparky Studio now, uh, even if you aren't installed it, by the way, uh, and you have version 83, just make sure that you restart uh, the app again close all the windows, start it, and then you should see the eye color effects. You can see change eye color with iris tracking and blocks. So uh, basically this just saves time. So instead of just recreating it from other resources uh, that Spark uh, AR uh, gives you, this is really an easy way to do it. So all you need to do is just a ready-made template. So you need to just tap it one time and then Spark AR will open uh, this template which I'm going to show you right now Let's switch. so as you can see we're just starting uh, using this template uh, and as you can see there already you can see the eye color effect it's purple uh, by default and you can see it folds when the eyes uh, is close closing in a closing state or partially open so it looks very natural so make sure you look on this side, of course, because this is the final render. This is just the 3D scene. But can take a look closer and you can see that uh, it's very accurate. So what we have here, so select the eye color block. So we have a block here that enables all this uh, functionality. And uh, most of the complexity, of course, is hidden from the user, but you have some uh, inputs that this blocks accepts that allow you to change many of the aspects of the vi the visualization of the eye but just uh, uh, messing around with those uh, input properties here that you can see here on the sidebar so in order to see those uh, block uh, properties make sure that you um, tap eye color in the scene and then you're going to see the sidebar uh, options enabled so what you actually need to look at is the input, this one, inputs properties, right? Here you can see the block, which is eye color block, which was initiated. Uh, it's already initiated by default, but if you want to initiate it, uh, you can just do right click and um, and instantiate it here. But of course, it's already instantiated. You don't need to do anything. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, change the properties of this as uh, so you see, adjust the inputs to customize your eye color. So all you need to do is just change those properties in order to uh, make the effect available uh, in the view here. So for example, these are three eye colors. As you can see, there it's not one color. There are three of them here. The outer A is actually, let me just pause it for a second, just looking at the colors. This one is A. You see, this one is B and the inner one uh, is C. So we can still change this. For example, if I just tap, I have a color picker and I can change the color to any other color. For example, if you want blue eyes, so let's just focus on making some blue eyes. See? Oh, this is the same bug as before where it circulates. It didn't fix it. I actually submitted it. This is a bug. You see, I mean, I have a bug, you know, I'm writing this on Windows where it just color circulates. So it's a really annoying bug. I hope they can fix this. Uh, all right, let me just restart it again. All right, so in order to explain to you, I can't really touch this because of the bug, because it just causes the system to hang and you just can't do anything but just close the window. But those three will change the color to a color of your choice. Uh, so this is the auto sequel, this is the inner one, is the most inner one. Uh, this is the iris fold, you can actually enable or disable it if you want. Uh, but of course I actually will leave it uh, enabled uh, because I want more natural look. Um, and iris, then iris opacity, pupil color, uh, you can change iris opacity. As you can see, the transparency. Let me just increase this one a bit more. A pupil opacity. As you can see now there's a hole here in the middle, you see? Let me just pose it again, so you can clearly see it. Pupil opacity. So I can change the inner circle to be instead of black, which what we all have, I change it to another color. 
to create some unique effect. Uh, if you want, like dragon eyes, cat's eyes, something I know kind of uh, different than the normal black uh, pupil, you can change it as well. We can just leave it transparent if you like, or mix and match, of course, with the opacity. And we can also uh, change the CDR opacity. So usually it's kind of a partial one, so blend it will blend well with the white of our eyes. Uh, but we can change it and we can change to another color this is just pure white as you can see because I just put it this white color and just put it to uh, uh, one opacity which means uh, it's not uh, transparent it's opaque that's why you see the white but you can change to other colors uh, other options are iris scale you can even look make it look like this it's actually look really cool look at this you can make it oh sorry not this one this one you can make it very small very large so it covers even the entire eye and this is can be a really cool effect uh, let's reduce it a bit and you can change the pupil scale so make it larger cool right and of course all of these as you can see have arrows so there you can actually uh, change the color in the patch editor and even create animation for those so you can use pulse uh, just to change it based on some other interaction or values uh, and you can also animate those values dynamically this is the global scale we'll change the global scale like it uh, says Ooh, oh this is scary you can make it very very small so this just scales everything uh, based on the volume you put here or you can s use the slider to slide it and there's also a global volume for the opacity which we all can also use to make it from uh, totally transparent to opaque by just dragging the slider now just keep in mind that even although we can use for example this uh, volume like 0 0.5 uh, changing this global opacity uh, will reduce this relative to the volume you can see here right so uh, it doesn't mean that the global opacity is one this one will be one no it just will reduce it uh, relatively to the global opacity that you set up here so this one will actually will be one the with one value in global opacity this will be 0 0.56 uh, etc uh, and of course when you reduce it you will this gradually relatively to the v this volume just uh, we just multiply this volume so we get uh, a lower volume uh, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. Okay, so it's relative to this global opacity slider. So uh, there you have it. There did a very great job because uh, many people, I remember many people asking me about, you know, tell me please how we can make an eye color changer filter. And I actually made a tutorial on my YouTube channel. Uh, but this is, of course, uh, saves you a lot of time. You don't need even to follow the previous video because this one just saves you all that work. Uh, although it didn't require too much work, this is just, you know, zero work. You just click and you have all this option available for you. And you can start developing um, uh, a filter that uses uh, eye color changer uh, straight away. So it's very, very easy to do and very good for beginners who are just starting... Uh, playing around with Spike AR and really like the eye color changer effect uh, and they can just uh, start using and create cool filters straight away but of course the great thing about the eye color changer is that can be a great base for creating for enhancing other filters that you are making for example uh, if you create like a dragon face you can really match the eyes instead of having the natural uh, eye color of the user you can find the right color that matches really the type of mask uh, that you are actually making so this is why the eye is so important and of course in the future because we're going to have uh, air color and other options so uh, but this is definitely eye color is definitely one that really catches the user's attention uh, because these are the eyes and our eyes really locked up on the eyes uh, when you see it whether it's an image or a video of a person so these are very important and really help enhance uh, 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 mask air mask that you are developing using spark air studio so again very uh, important feature in my opinion uh, for many people who love the eye color changer filter and even for me you know every air creator 
uh, we just want to create a filter can start using this template straight away um, and for me it's really great I use eye color changer in many of my masks uh, to enhance my mask so this is a really welcome feature and I'm happy that I can easily create it uh, without even going back to my other uh, self-created template that I made um, so it's much easier again works fine everything is good you can just start making filters using this template with just one click so uh, this is it is a quick look at the eye color changer filter so make sure you play with it I hope you don't have the bug that I actually have with this uh, eye color uh, selection wheel and actually what I do usually uh, I just set it up in volumes in the patch to avoid having this issue because um, it's annoying I hope that they will solve it uh, soon uh, maybe if you use Mac you don't have it but again I, I can show you just now that um, it's gonna ha be it's gonna affect you see I'm just I'm not touching anything right now and it keeps changing the values you see the color is changing I'm not doing actually anything so this is it for this video. Uh, see you in the next video. Uh, enjoy this uh, uh, feature. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to use it myself for my upcoming filters. Uh, so just have fun with it. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.